Okay, well, we're really excited about the keynotes coming to this year's conference. Uh, starting off on Monday morning, we've got Kevin Stolarik. He's from the uh, Martin Prosperity Institute at the University of Toronto, which maybe sounds a little odd, but uh, he's known as sort of the, creative, the statistician for the creative class. He's been working with Richard Florida since the beginning. He did a lot of the numbers work on the original book, The uh, Rise of the Creative Class. And uh, he's the guy that people turn to when they start trying to evaluate their, their, their creative economy and find out the percentage of creative workers in their workforce and those types of things. And so we're really excited. We challenged him to come and talk about how to do creative class type uh, projects or creative economy projects uh, in rural America, places like in West Virginia. And he's, uh, he's coming to tell us about that. Uh, at lunchtime on Monday, we've got David Wiley coming. We're also really excited about him. He's a native West Virginian. Uh, he graduated from Marshall University. He's been in Utah for a lot of his professional career where he started things like the uh, Open High School and uh, other essentially what I would call uh, you know, open education type things. And uh, he's got a lot to say about the future of education in the country. And again, this is an important thing for creative class uh, or creative workers because we're trying to figure out how we continue lifelong learning and how it's going to go beyond sort of our traditional education models. Uh, and then uh, Tuesday morning, we've got Anya Kamenetz coming from New York City. She's a writer for Fast Company magazine, and she caught our attention because of the article she wrote recently about the microgrid. And she's going to tell us a lot about what's going on not only in the other parts of the, of the world, but in our own country along the lines of sort of creating your own energy. How you can almost, in a lot of places, you can generate enough energy for your own home and maybe even have extra to give to your neighbors. And uh, we're really excited to kind of hear about some of that stuff because it sort of changes uh, not only the way that we uh, get our energy, but how we, how we distribute it, you know, who controls it, which we think is pretty important. And then wrapping up in terms of keynotes, on Tuesday afternoon at lunchtime, we've got Marcus Jadot coming from NASCAR. Uh, really excited about that connection. You know, we don't usually think of Craig uh, West Virginia and NASCAR together, but uh, he's got a lot to say about diversity and how uh, diversity is a challenge for uh, NASCAR traditionally and different programs that he's initiated to kind of uh, bring in both a new audience and, 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 and new talent into, into his, his industry and how that kind of relates to what we're talking about in terms of the creative economy.